In this lesson, we're going to discuss relationships between arcs and chords. When we say chord, this is a segment whose endpoints are points on the circle. So, dito sa example na to, we have chord CD and chord EF. Kasi yung dalawang uh, line segment na yon has two endpoints on the circle. And also, arc is a distance between any two points on the circumference of a circle. So, dito sa figure na to, we have arc KL. We have center O na may nakadrawing na arc KL. Let's start discussing the relationship between chord and arc of a circle. Using theorem number 1, we have in the same circle or in congruent circles, congruent arcs have congruent chords, and congruent chords have congruent arcs. So, ibig sabihin dito, dito sa figure na to, or dito sa circle na to, kung mapapansin, meron tayong symbol na dalawang line kaparehas dito sa kabila. Ibig sabihin nito, si arc ET is congruent to arc SP. Yan, dahil congruent sila, yung chord na madodrawing dun sa endpoint nilang dalawa, or eto endpoint na E, tsaka endpoint na T, pag kinonect mo, that is a chord, etong chord na to is congruent also to chord SP. Yan yung ibig sabihin niya. Or sa kabilang banda naman, kapag ang una mong nakita ay chord ET, or ang given ay chord ET, is congruent to chord SP. Yung kanilang intercepted arc ay congruent din. So, ibig sabihin, congruent din si arc ET at saka si arc SP. Let's have a clearer example. Dito sa circle na to, we have arc PE is congruent to SP. Ito yon yung arc PE at saka SP. They are congruent. Then, we can conclude that chord PE is congruent to chord SP. Another thing, yung vice versa naman, if TE is congruent to SP, or chord SP, then arc TE is congruent to arc SP. Let's check this one. Dito sa circle na to, we have two chords. We have TI at saka ME. Itong dalawang chord na to ay may measurement na 3 cm. They have both a measure of 3 cm. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin gamitin yung theorem number 1 kapag parehas yung kanilang measure or parehas ang measure ng dalawang chord on a circle, ibig sabihin yung kanilang intercepted arc ay congruent din. So, yung arc IT at saka arc ME ay congruent. Yung, or sa madaling sabi, if TI is congruent to EM, then arc TI is congruent to ME. So, dahil dito sa figure na to, TI is 75 degree, then ME is 75 degree din. It means X is equal to 75 degree din. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Kailangan i-apply lang natin yung theorem. Let's try to solve this problem. We have two congruent circles, the circle D and circle J. And we have arc SC is congruent to arc TO. And since this two circle are congruent, their corresponding parts are congruent. And meron tayo ditong chord SC is congruent to TO. It means yung kanilang corresponding chords are congruent also. It means SC is congruent to TO. So, SEC or chord SC is congruent to TO. And based on their expression, substitute lang tayo. SC is equal to 8Y minus 1. And yung TO is 15Y minus 1. Ah, minus 15. So, it means we need to solve for Y here. Lahat ng may variable lipat sa left side at lahat ng constant lipat sa right side. So, we have 8Y minus 15Y. Then, that is equal to 
negative 15 plus 1. Remember, pagka nagta-transpose tayo, we're going to change the sign. So, we have now 8y minus 15y is negative 7y and negative 15 plus 1 is negative 14. So, para matanggal natin yung negative 7 sa tabi ni y, divide both sides by negative 7. So, y will be equal to 2. And since yung SE natin ay may expression na 8y minus 1, substitute lang tayo ng value ng y. So, we have 8 times 2 minus 1, that is equal to 8 times 2 is 16. Then, bring down natin yung negative 1, that will be equal to 15. So, it means yung measurement ng chord SC natin is equal to 15. Let's have now theorem number 2 about chords and arcs. A diameter uh, or a radius is perpendicular to a chord and then it bisects the chord and its arc with the same endpoint. Ayan. So, since dito sa given na to, we have diameter AR and chord FT, wherein si AR ay perpendicular daw kay FT. Ayan yung symbol na yan. Then, yung chord FT will be divided into two congruent parts. We have FY is congruent to TY. And also, yung kanilang corresponding chords ay congruent na din. Dahil na kasama sila sa nabisek. So, we have arc FR is congruent also to arc RT. So, from theorem number 2, we have here circle C, wherein yung AR natin is the diameter and FT is a chord of circle C. And then, based here sa given, yung AR is perpendicular, itong symbol na to, that is perpendicular symbol or right angle symbol. Kasi dahil ang dalawang perpendicular lines kapag nag-intersect, ang kanilang intersection ay magme-measure ng 90 degrees. Kaya meron tayong right angle symbol dyan. It means they are perpendicular to each other. Then, automatically, yung chord na FT mahahati sa dalawang equal part. It means FY is congruent with YT. And yung kanilang corresponding arc na FR at saka RT ay congruent na din. Let's try to apply theorem number 2. So, based here, we have circle H. And circle H. SR is perpendicular to EA. Yung diameter SR is perpendicular to chord EA. We need to find EA if the measure of HE is 5 inches. So, since SR is perpendicular to EA, it means we have HE is equal to HA. Dahil makakat ng diameter yung chord into two equal part. And also, since yung EA ay chord, that will be the sum of HE at saka HA. Yung chord HA at saka HA. That is segment addition postulate. And since HE is 5 inches, HA is equal to 5 inches also. So, since EA is equal to HE plus HA, it means we have EA is equal to 5 inches plus 5 inches, which is equal to 10 inches. So, ang measurement ng EA natin ay 10 inches. Let's try to solve this problem. We need to find the measurement of arc KE if chord PA is congruent to chord KE. So, based on theorem number 1, if we have two congruent chords on a circle, then yung corresponding arcs nila ay congruent din. Ibig sabihin, si chord PA is also congruent with chord KE. And since yung chord PA is equal to 
85 degrees and KE will also be 85 degrees. We're not going to solve for 5x kasi since K is congruent with P PA, it means they have the same measure. Next, let's have this problem. Find measurement of arc WSE if chord WV is congruent to chord V. So, based here, since WB is congruent with VE, it means we have SW is also congruent with SE. Yung corresponding chords nila ay congruent din. Dahil yung diameter SA is perpendicular with WE. This WE will be divided into congruent part dahil dun sa given na to automatically, their corresponding arts ay congruent na rin. So, since SW is congruent with arc SE, it means we have 3x plus 10 is equal to 8x minus 5. So, we need to solve for x. Transpose natin yung 8x, so magiging 3x minus 8x. Then, yung 10, transpose sa right side, so we have negative 5 minus 10. And 3x minus 8x is negative 5x. Then, negative 5 minus 10 is equal to negative 15. So, para ma-remove natin yung negative 5, divide both sides by negative 5. So, we have x is equal to 3. So, since x is equal to 3, pwede na natin ma-solve ngayon yung measurement ng WSE. Itong WSE na to. So, since yung WS ay may measurement na 3x plus 10 at SE na 8x minus 5 at dahil yung arc WSE is equal to SW plus SE yung pinagsamang arc SW tsaka arc SE So, pag add din, din natin yung expression nila So, we have 3x plus 10 plus 8x minus 5 and then, we're going to simplify muna. So, we have 11x plus 5. And then, dahil yung x natin ay 3, substitute lang natin dito sa x. So, we have 11 times 3 eh, is 33 plus 5. That is equal to 38. So, yung 38 na yun, yan yung measurement ngayon ng ating WSE, yung arc WSE. So, that is 38 degrees. Let's try to solve this problem. Find the arc PE. So, based here on the figure, yung HO is congruent with PE. Yan yung ating given. Yung chord HO is congruent to chord PE. And since they are congruent, yung dalawang chord, then their corresponding arcs are also congruent. So then, HO, yung arc HO is also congruent with arc PE. And since HO is equal to 225, it means yung measurement din ng arc PE natin is also the same. Yung arc PE natin is also equal to 225 degrees. Let's have this another problem. A square is inscribed in the circle E. Find RO, arc RO, and arc CMR. So, yung arc RO natin ito. At yung arc CMR, CMR. Yan, yan yung arc natin. So, since meron tayong square, it means all sides are congruent. And all sides are congruent. So, we need to solve for RO first. Yung arc RO. Since yung RO is congruent to MC, yung chord RO is equal to chord MC, it means yung ating arc RO is congruent also to arc MC. And then, 
since RO, arc RO is 6, x minus 18, that is equal to arc MC, which is 5x. So, we need to solve for x. Transpose natin yung 5x. So, I have 6x minus 5x. Then, transpose yung negative 8 in the right side. That will become positive. And 6x minus 5x, that is equal to x. And bring down 18. So, x is equal to 18. So, we can now solve for arc RO. Arc RO is equal to 6x minus 18. So, trans, uh, substitute lang tayo ng x which is equal to 18. So, 6 times 18 that is equal to 108. Minus 18 that is equal to 90 degrees. So, yung measurement ng RO natin ay 90 degrees. Meron din tayong CM, arc CM and CM is congruent with arc MR and MR is also congruent with arc RO. Since congruent sila, pati si arc CO ay congruent din. It means para-paras lang sila ng measurement. Since RO is 90 degrees, yung CMR, arc CMR, that is equal to CM plus MR. It means we have CM is also 90 and MR is also 90. So, yung CMR natin is 180 degrees. Let's have this problem. We need to find arc XY. Itong arc XY na to. We need to solve for arc XY or yung X degrees natin. So, based dito sa problem, yung WX, yung chord WX, saka chord XY are congruent. Automatically, yung WX natin is also congruent with arc XY. Magiging congruent din sila. Dahil yung kanilang corresponding chord na WX is congruent with XY, then yung chord WX is also congruent with XY. So, since yung chord XY natin is equal to X degrees, automatically yung WX is also equal to x degrees. And, yung chord, not chord, arc, wx plus arc xy plus arc wy, that is equal to 1 revolution, which is equal to 360 degrees. You can be able to solve for x. So, substitute lang tayo. Yung arc wx is x degrees plus yung arc xy is also x. And based on the given, yung ating arc wy, itong arc wy is 140 degrees. Ayan, palitan natin ng 140. Bring down natin yung 360. Then, we can now solve for x. So, x plus x is equal to 2x. Bring down yung 140. Same with 360. So, transpose natin sa right side yung 140. That is 360 minus 140. And 360 minus 140 is equal to um, 220. So, we have 2x is equal to 220. Then, divide both sides by 2 para ma-remove yung coefficient na 2. So, x is equal to 110. It means yung ating xy, yung arc xy natin is equal to x degree. It means xy is equal to 110 degrees. Yung ating arc xy ay 110 degrees. Let's have this problem. Ang given natin is chord mh is congruent with chord at. Itong mh is congruent with chord at. It means, ang conclusion natin, yung arc MH is congruent with the arc TA. And since yung arc MH ay 2M plus 30 at arc TA ay 3M minus 15, pwede natin sila equate kasi equal silang dalawa. So, we have 2M plus 30 is equal to 3M minus uh, 15. Then, we need to solve for M. Transpose natin lahat ng may variables sa left side. So, we have 2M minus 3M is equal to negative 15 minus 30. And 2M minus 3M, that is equal to negative M. 
and negative 15 minus 30 that is equal to negative 45 then multiply both sides by negative 1 m is equal to 45 since m is equal to 45 we can now solve for the measurement of arc uh, mh so yung arc mh that is equal to 2m plus 30 so substitute natin yung nasolve natin na value na m so we have 2 times 45 plus 30 2 times 45 is 90 degrees plus 30 so we have mh is equal to 120 degrees tapos yung mh natin is congruent to arc ta it means yung arc ta natin is also 120 degrees